it's Sunday, May the 2nd. We got up early this morning, much as we didn't want to, and uh, we come back over here to the last place that we doubled up on. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it, but we decided we wanted to get up on top of this mountain before daybreak, so we got over here a little after five o'clock and started hiking up. It was pretty terrible, but we got a bird right over the edge here. Don't sound like he's too far away from us. We're gonna see if we can make something happen. Uh, probably gonna reposition here in just a second the way this bird is. We can He's gonna be right up on us before we know it if he does come this way, so. Not a whole lot of activity. That's the first bird we've heard that's over here on our farm. I heard another bird pretty good ways away, but that one there may have another one with him. You never know. We may uh, we may get a shot at another double here. He's going pretty good now. Anyhow, y'all keep your fingers crossed for us. We can get it done. All right, guys, it's uh, right at eight o'clock. Um, me and Heath was just sitting here talking. Those two or three birds that was roosted right over the edge this morning, they gobbled good on the roost and then they just shut up. Um, almost to the point where we think something spooked them. We don't know if uh, coyote come through. We do know there's a guy that hunts his next piece over and he's got a blind sitting right on the fence. We don't know if he might have come in, spooked them, but for whatever reason, they shut up. Uh, we got up and done some more calling, and they, they gobbled, and they were on down the ridge a little bit, maybe even down at the bottom. So we're thinking they either went down and crossed the road, looped back around behind us, or they're going to be working over to the next finger ridge over. We're hoping that's the case because we're about to make our way down through there. We're going to uh, dart across and jump over on that next finger ridge get us somewhere to set up and uh, we'll just call periodically see if we can't strike something up there has been another bird on out past where we're going that's been gobbling a little bit but um we're hoping we can get over there and either call these birds here to us or get that one fired up and excited um, there's birds everywhere we probably heard a good seven or eight different gobbles just on this side of the mountain this morning now they were quite a ways off but we heard a lot of birds so we still got a chance it's still relatively early in the morning so anyhow y'all stick with us we're gonna make our way over and we'll check back in with you
đi Go down this way and up. And up right there. <laughs> what do you think? We can go on down the bottom of this and see what it looks like.
Got him. There you go, boys, tagged out in Tennessee. He's got a decent little beard on him. Look at the hook there. Sharp hooks. All right, guys, we got the, got my bird number three for the year on the pouch here. We're gonna make our way back up to that flat we really like, because we had some other birds gobbling back from the way we come in this morning so uh plan is is try to get back up there rip a box call a time or two and uh see if we can't call heath in a bird he's got his gun with him today so y'all come with us and we'll see y'all when we get there all right guys so there you have it um just uh, blessed beyond measure this turkey season, to be honest with you. Um, we honestly, we set a goal this year to kill two birds apiece. And uh, if you guys have been keeping up with our videos, you know that we've done that in, uh, in one weekend. We doubled up a uh, Saturday and a Sunday. Be sure to check those hunts out if you hadn't seen them already. And uh, come on out this morning and we made it happen again. Hoping we's gonna be able to hang around for a little while and get Heath another bird. There's definitely more in here, um, but everything's just kind of shut down on us. So, still blessed beyond measure. We still got a few weeks left of uh, turkey season, so hopefully we can get it done for Heath. Get him tagged out. We want to uh, we want to shout out Under Armour once again. I swear we're we're gonna say this is our good luck charm this year. Um, they sent us out this awesome camo, and uh, we've had nothing but good luck ever since we got it. Good morning, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, also <clears throat> probably want to give uh Woodhaven's been pretty good to us this year as well. Uh about every bird, you know, I got a uh, a box call that I use uh for long distance, but as soon as those birds close in, I pop the Woodhaven in and it's uh it's it's not good for, for turkey, <laughs> that's for sure. So this hunt was cool if you guys seen we didn't get the actual uh kill shot on film once again but uh it's pretty cool you got to see me crawling out and uh, i dropped my vest off i crawled that up on a log um we could hear this bird scratching and knew he was just right over top of the little crest that we were on and uh sure as the world got up there and i couldn't see him and um you guys may be able to hear it in the audio but he actually putted at me and I still couldn't see him, and then he stepped out onto the logging road up above me, and that's when it ended for him. But I've been shooting a 410 this year, uh, Stevens Model 301. Uh, bought it for my son for Christmas for him to use, and uh, I've taken three birds with it this year, so it's a great little gun, and uh, it'll reach out there and get them. But regardless, we appreciate y'all for watching. We're going to uh, pack off this mountain here, get back down to the truck, and get this... Uh, Get this bad boy cleaned up. Y'all stick with us.